we have a set X containing the points A, B, C, D, we have tau, that's a topology on X, and we have a subset A of X. We have to find the interior of A, the exterior of A, and the boundary of A. So the interior of A, this guy right here, this is the set of all interior points. So what's the definition of an interior point? Well, P and A is an interior point if there exists some open subset, so I'll just say O open, such that little p is an O and that's contained in A. So what does that mean uh, intuitively? Let's, let's look at a picture. So let's say this is A. Okay, this is A. And let's say this yellow dot is little p. So if little p is an interior point, that means there is some open subset, O and X. This is an open set in X that's contained entirely in A. So this would be an example of what an interior point looks like. What would be the interior of A? Well, the interior of A would be the set of all interior points. So maybe all of this here could be our interior of A. So maybe that's the interior of A, int A. What about the exterior of A? Well, the exterior of A is the interior of the complement of A. So what's the complement? Well, the complement is all of the elements that are not in A. So it's all of the stuff out here. Okay, that's the complement of A. And so the exterior would be the interior of all of these blue lines that I'm drawing, of all of this entire region out here. And then finally, the boundary of A. Well, the boundary of A is going to be, let me use a different color. Let's go back to green. The boundary of A is all the points that are neither in the interior nor the exterior. So this green region here, this would be the boundary of A. Okay, let's go ahead and work out this problem. So solution. So first we have to find the interior of A. So we have to find all of the interior points of A. So all we do is we just check every single element of A and we check whether or not it's an interior point. So we'll start by checking little a. And to see if it's an interior point, we have to look to see if we have an open set containing little a that's contained in big A. Well, we do. This is an open set. It's a member of tau, so it's open by definition. So little a is contained in the singleton set containing a, and that's contained in a. So that's precisely what it means for little a to be an interior point. So little a is in the interior of capital A. Now we go to the next one, so little c. And again, we look, is there an open set containing little c that's contained in A? Well, yeah, we can use this one. So little c is contained in the set containing c, which is contained in A. So that means that little c is in the interior of A. And I think we could have used another set. Yeah, we could have used this one too, right? Little c is in this set, and this set is certainly contained in A. So as long as you find one open set, you're, you're good. And the last one to check is little d. So check little d. So the only open set containing little d is capital X, but capital X is not contained in A. So there is no open set for which this definition holds. So little d is not an interior point. So little d is not an interior point of A. So now we can finally write down the interior of A. So the interior of A would be the set containing A and C. Okay, now we have to find the exterior of A. Keep in mind the exterior of A is the interior of the complement. So before we do anything, let's write down the complement. Let me circle it, that's one of our answers. Let's write down the complement of A. So X is A, B, C, D. A is A, C, D. So the complement is, looks like it's just B, right? It's just little b. And now we have to find the interior of this set. So we'll check little b. And we'll see if it's an interior point. So we have to look and find an open set containing little b. Well, it looks like the only open set containing little b is capital X. But capital X is not contained in this set. So little b is not an interior point. So little b is not in the interior of the complement. But what is the interior of the complement? That's the exterior of A, right? So there's nothing in the exterior of A. So the exterior of A is the empty set. Okay, And now finally we have to check the boundary of A. Right, You have to check the boundary of A. So the boundary of A 
This is all the points that are neither in the interior nor the exterior. So the boundary of A, let's see. So in the interior, we have AC. In the exterior, we have the empty sets. It's everything that's in neither of these sets. That's simply going to be, looks like we have A, B, C, D. Here we have AC. Here we have nothing. So it's just going to be B, D. So that would be the boundary of A. It's everything that's in neither of these sets. And that's it.